Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, oh man, I tell you what. <clears throat> I wish that I had come over here yet, what was it, after we finished that one wheel ride, I would have got the 34 hour restart had I done that instead of waiting until yesterday morning. Jeffrey, how you doing? Welcome to the Ride Along Gang. Lee, Colorado Springs. Jamie. Emo Tater. Joni. Mr. Jeremy, how y'all doing? Kyle Tim, Gary Watson. Well, I said between 6 and 8 and 7.30, so close enough. Close enough. Greetings from Michigan. Is that El Osario? El Osario? El Osario? Dang it. El Osario. There we go. Am I from Texas? No, I'm from Tennessee. Russ the Hunter, how you doing? El Osario, welcome to the Radlon Gang. Jeffrey, welcome to the Radlon Gang. Alright, I know the title says to Prescott, Wisconsin, but that's just because I don't know where I'm going to stop at. And that's where we're headed to, so. Chase, how's it going? Just a friendly reminder, ladies and gentlemen, if you've not got that thumbs up button yet, smash it, smash it, punch it, kick it, lick it. We do not care how you do it. Stop smurfing on it. Start up between six and eight. It was mountain time, not, not eastern time. Man, my nostril, I tell you what. Put it on mute when I do that. <laughs> Give me just a second, I'll have the sound back on. In about time, I get the sound back on, we'll be rolling.
Uh, we don't care about anything about people's religions here, Jeffrey. If you'll if you'll check out them, uh, if you'll check out the description of this video and read the uh, read the channel rules. We don't care anything about religion in here. That's not what this channel's about. You can be whatever you want to be. We don't mind, and it don't matter. Oysters at the window. Nah, I just had to throw them in the trash can. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, keep these wheels a rolling. All aboard. Uh -huh. Yeah, now we've been here in Alamosa for a good 30 something hours, but after I'd done the one wheel, after I'd done the one wheel ride, instead of um, coming straight over here, I waited till eight o'clock yesterday morning and that messed me up out of my 34 hour restart. Unfortunately, trucks pulled in, they, they all pulled in caddy corner beside me. Excuse me. And, uh, had I not moved the truck when I did, I would have got blocked in by all the workers because where I was parked at, I would have been stuck between the cars and the trucks. Crazy. Dance fucking pain. 
இது
Now, I don't know if you noticed how I kind of turned to the right right there or not. That's how you do these big trucks to keep from pulling out in front of you. Just to angle your cab around to where you can see out that side door rather than just guessing. So this little stretch right here, what we're doing right now, that's what knocked me out of my 34 hour restart. Cause we're actually, we're going right back into town. Should be going right by where we was parked at, where I parked at to do the uh, one wheel ride. So this little drive right here is what knocked me out of it. Like I say, I should have been Instead of sitting there at the truck stop, going to going to bed there, I should have went ahead and drove us over to the to the pickup after I ended the ended the one wheel stream. What I should have did, then I would have got the 34 hour restart. But should have, would have, could have. Wishes was fishes. The world would be an ocean. interested in doing any driving last night. I was so freaking aggravated at how long it took them to load me up with seven pallets. I was like, dang it, man. It was insane. Did you know me? How you doing? That is the frustrating part about the job when it when it comes to something like that, and especially I mean especially with it, it's not even a half a trailer full. But I mean I know when it, when it comes to loading, they have to load certain particular ones. I guess I don't know. 
but that's that's one of the most fr frustrating parts about being out here over the road is getting stuck between loads you know whether it's picking up or dropping off and it's usually always picking up usually Goes over to Ernie's channel. Electric cars. 
Tesla. I don't know what that other one was. It didn't look like Tesla charging station. Chicago, how you doing? So now, the start of the drive this morning to right up here around the bend. That's why I knocked me out of my 34 hour restart. Because right here at the red lights, that's where I was, that's the truck stop I was at. Which I was—I mean, it was pretty decent, decent ways away. Oh yeah, it's parked right over there, the left-hand side. So this little drive right here that we just did—that's what done it for me, knocked me out of it. in the Ziploc bag and throw it in the microwave.
I do that later on <clears throat> today or maybe in the morning. Yes. May start the video out that way. we come in to Alamosa, what, 285 from the south? I think we're on 285 now. Going back out, but we're not going south. I don't know if we're on 285 or not. Not real sure about that. Also, yeah, it depends on the size of the wood. That's what I was going to ask. Did you use the court, court bag or the US-116 East? That makes sense. Did you use the court size or gallon size? I got the little, I've got Ziploc bags, but I think they're just like the sandwich, the sandwich size. Dakota, how you do it?
Sophia 34. How you doing? That's okay. Welcome to, welcome back.
moose sitting over there because you barely see that thing, man.
the 35.
morning, everybody. How we doing today? Finally getting a drive. Finally. gets up to 10 or 15 miles an hour it locks. The truck though, uh, it don't have automatic locks on it.
21 thumbs up, 110 people watching. We got some softy smurfs in here, but that's alright. I don't mind and it don't matter. Softy, softy, softy. But if you just forgot about it, smash it, mash it, punch it, kick it, lick it, we do not care how you do it. Stop smurf it on me. Somebody took one away. You be that way then. <laughs> Who playing? Who playing? We're stuck on number one. Deep one, man. Fort Garland. Temperature dropped down to 46 degrees. that the uh
feels like it's warmed up. Right when we get down to the close to the bottom here. 49 degrees according to the truck. so much for the first 100 thumbs up You're right here drive long game really do appreciate it snatch some salt from the saute crew butter up that popcorn enjoy the rest of the ride now we do love the misfits around here how much do we love the misfits freaking bunches <laughs> that horn sounds horrible
so for anybody that does know, we are in La Vita, Colorado, on a US-160. We got a current temperature of 34 degrees, according to the truck, at 8.51 in the AM. We've got an altitude of 7,355 feet. And we got 136 miles left on this. Did I say 100? 1,036 miles left on this trip. <laughs> all day today, all day tomorrow.
like it's all grown up.
Walsenberg, Colorado, according to the GPS of where we're at right now. We've got an altitude of 6,350 feet. We got a current temperature 38 degrees at 903 a.m. We are on uh, US 160 right now. Travel on eastbound. We got 1,023 miles left to Prescott, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. The train was headed northbound to the right right here. Walsenberg's biggest and best grocery store. Pretty sure I got a 360 view of this town. I don't know how much of it, but I'm pretty sure I did.
Watch your pickup truck. This would be a pretty cool little one wheel town. Could be. Use caution, road work ahead. Don't think I've ever been down through this stretch of road here. Not on the live stream anyway. I think Wildsburg would be a pretty decent little one mile town for sure. Not much to it, but I mean there really wasn't much to Alamosin either. One horse town or one wheel town? <laughs> one way or another. We might catch up to that train, I don't know. section is a little bit slower. It is a little bit slower. Gotta get going. Keep following that Bob. Appreciate you stopping in. Hang out. I want to catch you next time around. Uh 
left off this 160 onto Colorado 71 State Highway. Getting us a few little bits of back road today, how about that? Hopefully, hopefully I come up to a pull off here within the next little bit. I've got to kick a tire and uh, I just don't think there's anything out through here much more than a pull off. Was it Colorado 
are out of ten now. back road. Not even enough shoulders to hold off on. Some 
twirly twirlies up ahead. <clears throat> Don't know if y'all can see them just yet or not, but they're up there. Big old string of them. Optimon, how you doing? How's everything going in Optiland over there? Board. GPS, we're still in Walsenburg. We yeah, way out here in the, uh, I don't know what you'd even consider this. Well, we got an altitude of 5,935 feet. Current temperature, 42 degrees at, I don't know, it's nine something in the AM. 923, I think. We got almost exactly a thousand miles left on this trip.
one point they was like, she was like, um, well, there was a few of, it was a couple of them, a woman and a man. The guy controlled the, uh, he controlled the, the cable, the power cable. She had the camera. But there was one point when I was watching, that was like 24 feet, 24 feet deep. Yes. I think is what, what her little depth meter was saying, 24 feet. there in Walsenburg, right? I see now like Clint kept saying, Colorado 10, Colorado 10, because we're now on 10, not on 160. That's my fuel supply. I've got about three quarters of a tank. We shouldn't burn too much fuel um, along this trip, seeing as we're as light as we are. GPS, we're still in Walsenburg, though. Man, look at that long stretch of road. Look at that. It looks like it goes on forever. 11.38 in Kentucky. We got 9.39 here in Walsenburg, Colorado. We are on Colorado 10, heading eastbound. We've got a current altitude of 5,580 feet with a current temperature of 43 degrees. We got 992 miles left on this trip. Of course, we will not be finishing that out today, but we will run about 500 miles ish today. 500, 550, something like that. I think we started out. I think I started out with 1,100 miles, so. <coughs> so 550 would be a decent little run. Split it in half. <laughs> Pueblo County. According to that sign right there. Old abandoned filling station and cafe. Got some old trucks over there on the left hand side. One 
straight up and I'm ready to eat. Most days though it's at least an hour after I get up before I'm really ready to eat. <coughs> just, it just depends. It varies from day to day.
was bad. Thankfully, just for a minute, though.
to land at a decent price and can build you something real nice out here and farm it make some money I guess I guess that'd be, be alright I guess farm the hay Ha <laughs> ha 
chat. My apologies for anybody that said hi and I didn't see it. My chat stopped moving probably 20 minutes ago. Chicago, hang it up.
the only deviation that we do is sailboat fuel. Either hot popcorn or sailboat fuel, or one or the other. That's indefinite, and that's all the time. Calling about half popcorn and half uh, sailboat fuel this time. <laughs> Bunch of pop popcorn is what it is. Butter popcorn, tin foil on the end. All right, we got about nine more miles of this uh, Colorado tin left, and then we'll be hopping on to Colorado 71.
end of the map. Your lady's feeling it. You've not got that thumbs up button yet. Yeah, smash it, smash it, punch it, kick it, lick it. We do not care how you do it. Stop smurfing on it. If you're not subscribed yet, punch that subscription button in the face. Slap that notification bell in the jaw. trailer up. Not when I can let you out. Check that out. And I'd like to climb up in that thing and see what it looks like. Alright, we're now on Colorado 71 for the next five miles. And then we'll be hopping on to US 50 Colorado 71.
a lot of those things out and about. Dang those splatter wagons. that before I didn't <clears throat> that uh, he was born in Lamar somebody mentioned that once before on the live stream here before <clears throat> going to the rides. Jug. 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 That's 
stopped at that. Matter of fact, I stopped at that Loveland Jug. The last time I come through here, we was headed in the opposite direction. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull off to the side right there and park. Eat me a bowl of cereal. I hadn't ate anything this morning. This would be maybe a cool little town to one wheel through, but not much to it, but it's still a cool little town. Maybe they won't say nothing to me. bowl of cereal, fruit loops, and uh, hopefully runs away on it. a little bit hungry so fruit loops for breakfast fruit loops for breakfast the only thing that I hate about eating out of these is it's the feel to the top and then putting milk in them so it's just I'm not sure when it kicked off. How you doing? It's 
so yeah, we are um, sitting on the side of the road, eating some breakfast. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. There's a tractor coming. Check this out. He's actually having to scoot over because of how wide he is. Dang. That thing was scooting. You had fruit loops too? Heck yeah. I like Fruit Loops about the best of the cereals. I mean, I like other stuff. I've got some, uh, Scooby Dude sent, uh, give me a big old box full of different cereals. But I've also got Cinnamon Toast Crunch. most definitely was on a mission. <laughs> I don't know why my Starlink cut off for Could be a solar flare, I don't know. Um, breakfast time. <clears throat> Hadn't had no breakfast this morning, so. He was scooting. Ain't no doubt about that. So you can get the last one plate. <laughs> no, I never liked honeycombs.
just gonna handle one bow. That was good enough for now. Easy, appreciate you stopping in, hanging out. We'll catch you next time around. Hey, look at that, another truck pulled off. I wonder if he's eating him some cereal.
eight wheel tractor. You've been drinking <laughs> all over the road there. Twenty six miles per hour is what that tracker is going. Other one might have been going a little bit faster than that. I don't know. Another, it's not registering me now. There it goes. Rocky Ford, Colorado, according to the GPS, is where we're at. He's probably like, man, get out from behind me. Yeah. miles to Ordway, Ordway. Beautiful day for back roads, y'all. Beautiful day for back roads. Thailand, how you doing? I, I cannot read that name, but welcome to the Ride Along Gang. Is it part of?
field trip to Thailand? How cool would that be? We need to take the uh, ride along gang worldwide, is what we need to do. Ride along worldwide. Field trip to everywhere. Everywhere? Everywhere. Siberia, Thailand, Yorkshire, Sydney, Bangkok. Yeah, we're on 71 now. I do believe that's where we're at. Highway 71. Got about eight more miles, and then we're gonna be hopping on to Colorado 96. Let's freaking go, y'all. Let's freaking go. Good morning, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. to a town near you someday soon. Always popcorn. Always popcorn. Never deviate. Never haul anything but popcorn. Well, subo fuel. Tom, hey, you uh, doing?
this way right now. And here in just about a mile and a half, we're going to be going that way. And then we'll be going that way for a distance, and then we'll be flipping around and going the other way until we get up to that way. Like I guess that that spillway 
was coming out of. And that sign had a had an airplane on it with the water landing gear. What do you call those? What do you call them dang things anyway? landed over there according to that sign Sugar City welcome to Sugar City altitude 4310 feet population I have no clue Current temperature 51 degrees, 1055 in the AM. Pacific Caboose. Begin Railroad Avenue, straight ahead, no trucks. Ah, oh, somebody took this railroad crossing sign out. Check that out, it's laying down on the ground. So are these active tracks, I wonder? Not much to Sugar City, I tell you, man. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, you had a stop sign right there. Dang it, man. I've been doing a lot of sneezing here lately. I'm glad I didn't try to take that straight over there. <laughs> so I started to. Ow, a street. Alright, we got 55 miles. US 287. We'll be traveling down this 96 East. Colorado 96. For the next 55 miles. We could have come on out right there. Might not have been with No, we couldn't have been. I don't know. Yeah, we could have. Haswell.
Creek. Looks a little dry. Ain't a bit of water in that creek. Not a bit. up so just a friendly reminder if you've not got that thumbs up button yet smash it smash it punch it kick it lick it would you not care how you do it stop smurfing on it don't be a part of the dang no salty crew y'all don't do it if you've not subscribed yet we'll punch that subscription button in the face slap that notification bell in the jaw looks fake over there. What the heck is that on his? Looked a little mal malnourished with his tailbone sticking up like that. <laughs> Jumped out with both feet earlier. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. 
deer like daredevils. Time to time we run across that where the birds just love to fly in front of vehicles. I don't know, it must be like a game for them.
much I can do about that.
Blue Lake to the right. Trucks can go down that road. They had a truck sign. 38 ton limit. We're not 38 tons, I don't think. be a nice old abandoned house to explore over there on the left hand side. It's like the windows are missing out of it. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. A nice big old farmhouse. It would be sweet. I don't know actually if it's a big old farmhouse or Sprays are good. I like, but I like the Minute Maid. Is it Minute Maid? Yeah, Minute Maid. I like them better than the Ocean Spray. They got just a little bit better taste to them. The Ocean Spray is a little bit wangier. I get the Ocean Spray, but only if they don't have the Minute Maid. Which right now I'm drinking Minute Maid lemonade.
Love, Colorado. Highway 96, Colorado 96. Whole lot of nothing out here, man. Whole lot of nothing. Well, dead skunk.
too. Keep them coming. Keep them coming.
that screen will be back up sooner or later. I don't know if you'll get to enjoy it or not though. We're here if you want to watch, uh, we're here if you don't want to watch, either which way. Y'all are complaining to the wrong person when you're complaining about the vertical screen versus the wide screen. Y'all are complaining to the wrong person. Where y'all need to set y'all's complaints at is YouTube. That's where you need to uh, launch your complaints. If you don't like it, tell YouTube about it. that comes in and says go back to line screen go back to line screen you're just the same as saying shoot yourself in the foot shoot yourself in the foot you're gonna get the same results i mean i'm not gonna shoot myself in the foot <laughs> i'm just not gonna do it so just bear in mind when you want to say hey i like wide screen better hey go back to wide screen you're pretty much saying the same thing as, hey, shoot yourself in the foot. Hey, shoot yourself. I'm not going to do it.
always a good time to be a travel okay? Doesn't matter what time it is. <laughs> Dang, what a freaking nest in that thing. That entire little tree was just about a nest. It was almost completely, it was at least 50% nest. That tree was. Subscribe to that punch that subscription button in the face. 
slap that notification bell in the jaw. crew butter up that popcorn enjoy the rest of the ride now we do love the misfits around here how much do we love the misfits freaking bunches <laughs> kathy how you doing today
is Highway 40. But I'm gonna make a pit stop right here. I think this Cinex is a truck capable. Oh, <laughs> I gotta kick a tire, man. I got to kick a tire. We'll go on up to the love. Sorry there, Mr. Pickup Truck. To the ex to an extreme. I might get me a Godfather's pizza. Maybe. I don't know. Back to work. If I only I don't work too hard. Gracious, man. It's like I'm about to bust. Forgot my wallet. I might want to buy something while I'm in there. Like a pizza.
Holy snap, it's chilly out there. Chili, chili. We'll just right there where 40's closed at. Cut down on old 40. Go around, I guess. Yeah. Be yeah, alright. We'll survive it. Pretty safe. So, got me a uh, pizza. Got a thought of pizza. Ow. They didn't have the uh, single slices, so I just had to get me a personal pan. It is fresh, so it's actually pretty good. It's not terrible. You said that. It's not terrible. Pizza is your favorite? I do enjoy pizza from time to time. I probably eat a lot more of it than I really should. Yeah, Godfather's is usually pretty good. I prefer when I get to Godfather's from Pizza Hut. I, pref I prefer it to be the single slices. Um, the single slices are a lot better than the personal pan. In my opinion, that's, that's my opinion. I 
And what is it I say about opinions all the time? Opinions are like buttholes. Everybody's got one. <laughs> I guess some of you didn't like that. Dropped 30 people off. Right as soon as I said it. Just got a new phone. The video's really clear. Yeah, whenever you... Whenever you get the proper... The proper video um, format for this. It's actually pretty good. It's not bad at all. Now, like I like I've said before, if you're if you've got the old format on the phone where it looks just the same as it would if you're watching from the PC, then it's not as good. But I heard rumor, I heard rumor, I don't know how true it is, that um, apparently, I don't know if TikTok lost their, their little battle, lost it, I'm not real sure, but apparently TikTok's supposed to be sold off within the, within the year. So will that completely crash TikTok out? I don't know. It may do it, it may not. You know, it may still be just the same as it ever was, but I don't know. $32 at Pizza Hut in Canada for 12 inch, five topping pizza. Is that 30, well that's 32, what Canadian dollars? I don't know what the difference, how much, how much difference there are. <laughs> sailboat fuel, well it all pays me the same, Ray. Whether it's popcorn or sailboat fuel, it pays me the same. pulled on out because the truck pulled up behind me. I don't know if he just went in. Um, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and sit here for... I can either finish this break out or I can wait till somewhere down the road. It looks like... It looks like we're going to be on U.S. highways all the way up to 80 swing over on 80 and run 80 up to Des Moines. Des Moines? And then we're going to hit 35 and go up. I mean, I've got four hours before I have to take a mandatory break. I don't know how far, how many, how far 80 is away. I might already go back in there and get me some, uh, some more lemonades and uh, cranberries. Because I don't, I don't have any more. This is my last bottle. I've got a bottle of tea, but I don't want to drink it right now. $32 Canada is 23 American. So, I mean, that's about... Well, I don't know, for a five topping pizza and, and at Pizza Hut here, I, I would, I want to think that it's more than $23 for a five topping. Now, I'm not going to get more pizza. I've still got, um, I've still got two little slices. That pizza right, hey, look, check this out, guys. 
Let me flip the camera around. Just so you get another view of it. This pizza, this pizza right here was $6.60. $6.60. That's one topping. And um, what is that, six inches? I don't think, I don't know if it's even six inches. Yeah, it might be six inches. One topping, six inches. It's $6.60 after taxes. So yeah, I mean, $23 for a, for a 12 or 15 inch pizza with five toppings, that's really not bad. Not really. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm already over. I'm already over halfway into it, so I may as well finish it out. But I think I'm gonna go in and, and grab me a, a couple of drinks while I'm right here. And I'm gonna, I am gonna do that. So. <laughs> right with <now. laughs> all over the place, no doubt. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna run in here and get me a couple of drinks and I'll be right back. That way I've got drinks. It's chilly out there, y'all. Wow, that's freaky. What is that? Y'all hear that alarm going off? The lemonade, yeah, it's pretty good. Did y'all, did y'all hear that? Huh, interesting, I'll be back. Tornado alarm, that's what it sounded like, yeah, tornado alarm. Lord have mercy, I hope there ain't no tornadoes around. So yeah, y'all yeah, did hear it. Take cover. I'll be back.
Alright. So I just went ahead and got me a couple of Got me another lemonade. Got me two of the cranberry grape minute maids. That's the kind that I like. The ocean sprays are good, but these just, they're a little bit better. A little bit. And then, got me another nitro. I got two of everything except for the lemonade. And of course I got me a couple of these. This keeps me from drinking nitros all day long. Here, oh it's, it's chilly out there. It may just it may have just been like a practice thing or something, I don't know. So we got four more minutes and then the 30 minute break will be up. Four more minutes till we ride again. JR, how you doing today? John, what you got? What's your question, man? What's your question? Um, yeah, we can do it. We can do it one time. Um, grab up John's link and go ahead and throw it in the chat for me. Now, if the link don't work, just type in John one two three and it should take you there. I don't I don't think the links are going to work on on this vertical. The links don't really they don't work most most of the time. They don't they're not clickable. So I don't I don't think it'll work by putting your link up there. What we what we can do though is look up everybody look up John one two three and. Um, check out his Niagara Falls short let's do it that way everybody just look up John 123 because that should that should get you there the links 
they've on these vertical streams they're not really clickable sometimes they're clickable sometimes they're not <clears throat> if it's clickable the link that Jay just shared click it hop over there and check check out John's very first video if it's not clickable just tap in John one two three I know a lot of times when the links go up on these verticals, they're not clickable. It looks clickable on my side, but they always go up on my side clickable. I don't know what the difference is. <clears throat> Can't click it. Just type in John one two three then. Yeah, my, for some reason or other, they don't they don't allow the 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 links to go up as clickable on these vertical streams. So just type in John one two three. There's many John one two threes. Change your username. Let John one two three be a part of it. For. Yeah, I don't know what it is with the with the vertical streams. Um, I don't know for sure why they they hold back on those to make them not clickable. I'm not real sure about it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our thirty minutes is up. All aboard! Mm -hmm. Let's roll, hobos. Wait a minute, guys. Check this out. Before we get going. Driving simulator. I wonder what that cost us. Huh. It worked for Clint. 10 for. If it works for you, click it. If not... Just try to type in John one two three and see. It looks old and ragged, but that would be kind of cool. There, you could have backed up about 10 more feet, quite possibly, maybe more. Simulator, that's for sure. Kids Carson, 20 miles, so that's where we'll be making our right hand turn onto US. I'm actually going to go ahead and eat my 
my other two pieces of pizza while I'm driving. Colorado. How fast are I going? It's free time. Sixty-five, speaking of sixty-five, that's what we're doing. I could be doing 66. Surprised it's not 70 up, up and down 287. ago they they dropped my speed down to 70 which they dropped all of our trucks down to 70 something to do with insurance I don't know I think what it was was too many of the new, newer drivers was coming in and getting tickets. And the insurance company said, hey, slow your trucks down. If you want to keep it at this pain. Is what I think. I mean, I don't know. I don't know for sure. I know about the entire trucking industry. The mega, the mega companies are trying to get the entire trucking industry slowed down to, uh, I think, 65. I think. I could be wrong on the, on that exact speed. It might be 60. It might be 55. It, I know the mega carriers though are trying to get every, all the trucks in America turned down to closer match their speeds. And the reason why is because all the major mega carriers are between 64 or 63 and 68. But the thing is is when these uh, when these loads get bitted off to to the carriers a lot of people doesn't want to bid them off to the uh, to the mega carriers because they they're slower. So the mega carriers is fighting trying to get the entire industry turned down to to match their speeds. That way, that's not a part of that's not factored into competition. But you know, the mega carriers they've got anywhere from 200 plus trucks. You know, 200 to a thousand trucks, so they can afford to do 63 miles an hour. But 
they're losing out on their bids because people's looking they're like nah I don't want this, the Swift I don't want Prime carrying this load because he can only do 63 and this guy over here can do 72 we want to hurry and get that load there as quickly as possible uh, I don't do that I don't discuss it, it doesn't matter who I work for that's not that's not an important part of this stream at all it, and it makes no difference here or there um, for anybody to know or not to know who I drive for. It's not important. No reason for anybody to even know who I drive for. Same with my pay. I don't. I don't discuss how much I make. I mean, that's no different than you know going up to if you work in a warehouse to the maintenance man and saying, "Hey, how much do they pay in hours?" It's no different. No reason in the world for that discussion either. to apologize about it. I mean if you don't know you don't know I really I mean I really don't understand why any of the uh, YouTube truckers puts their companies up in their video. I just, I don't understand it. It's never made sense to me why they do it. Because it's, it's not an important part of the videos. I mean, I guess if you make videos to where you show the outside of your truck and it's plastered all over it, you know, like they've got the company name all the way down the trailer or whatever. I guess I can kind of see it that way, but an outside video without it showing you know it's not just like blocking a little bit of the logo out it's his entire trailer is painted up with it or his entire truck and trailer generally does a lot of outside videos uh, he clips camera the cameras to the outside of his truck there's just no way around it for doing the videos that he does there's no way around it it's not like it would be an easy blur because he'd have to blur out the whole entire truck not just a, a little piece on the side he'd have to blur out the whole truck and most of the time the whole trailer I mean, 
you don't see them as much out here as you do on the East Coast. You see them more on the East Coast. They're like east of the Mississippi, mainly. I'm not saying that's their 100%, but they're a lot east of the Mississippi. See, they're, they're depending on what companies that, that, you're, that you refer to, some run exclusively west of the Mississippi, some run exclusively Midwest, some exclusively Pacific Northwest, some specifically um, east of the Mississippi. You know, it just depends on the company. Because a lot of companies will claim that they're 48 states or over-the-road companies and they're not actually, they're just regional companies. But that's like even working for Swift, you know, you can, you can do that regional, you can do it local, you can do it over the road. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Sheesh it up, sheesh die. What's going on today? Sleeping in tomorrow. Yeah, I used to pick up a lot where BTI is picked up. But I used to run a lot of paper. <laughs> I know this man, I know this. Kit Carson, Colorado, according to the GPS, where we're at right now, with an altitude of 4,280 feet. We got a current temperature of 53 degrees at 12.37 in the PM. We have 864 miles left on this trip. We've got four and a quarter miles left on a US 287 and we're going to be hopping on to US 40. We just completed a 30 or mandatory 30 minute break. Now, I mean, we might get down the road somewhere and I might decide to take another 30 minute break. If I do, that's all on me. But we've already had our mandatory 30 minute break, which means we don't have to take another one for the rest of the drive. <sighs> we could just do kicking tire brakes or hopping out, walking around the truck brakes or whatever. I don't have to, it doesn't have to be 30 minutes. shipper for 11 hours waiting to get loaded yesterday by the time they got me loaded I didn't I didn't feel like driving and had enough time to not take off driving so I waited till this morning to take off I could have took off last night at nine o'clock but I just wasn't interested in doing that didn't have to, so I didn't. <clears throat> buffalo. Dang the old buffalo, man.
loaded with popcorn, Zachary. It's always popcorn. Anytime you're on this channel, we're always loaded with popcorn. Never devious. Won't change today, won't change tomorrow, won't change next week, it won't change next month. Always, always, always popcorn. Just got off of US 287 onto the US 40. We got at least 109 miles on this US 40. A couple of them will be on old 40. A couple three to four to five miles ish. dropping hooks but it's about 90 90% or 95% live loads and unloads
Big Springs Creek. It is dry, man. It is dry. Yeah, he was on here just about an hour ago. That's how he was. He said the shop called him, so he had to hop off.
two miles. I can't read it from here. Next two miles. Grinding. Use caution. I don't know if we can go around them or not. Not sure. I guess so. Don't open your window. Don't be uh, helpful or useful.
welcome to the Rat Long Gang.
population slender. Altitude 4,292 feet, current temperature 51 degrees at 104 in the p.m. We've got 836 miles left on this trip. Got a museum to the left hand side right here according to that sign.
That was one time I had a car coming at me on the wrong side of the road like that. I didn't want to run off the road. I don't remember if it was an embankment or if it was a big drop off. I don't remember what the reason was. I didn't want to run off the road anyway though. If he was on my side, I just, I got over in his lane and went around him. I mean, I know back in the day before dash cams doing that, running a huge risk of uh, them jumping back over in their own lane and hitting head on and then it would be considered your fault. But
Kansas. <laughs> Toto, I think we're back in Kansas now.
200 miles, two miles ahead, not 200, two miles ahead. 200 miles. <laughs> Dang it, man. We might have to hop on the tracks and ride down there. How about it? Are we getting on a gravel road? Lord have mercy. Let's do this. <laughs> we ain't really got no room to turn around. They wasn't kidding when they said old 40, was they? Good Lord, what was this back in the horse and buggy days? Heck yeah. Getting a ride on the gravel. I'm not so excited about it on the one wheel, but now the 18 wheeler, oh, that's a little bit different. I ain't got to ride on a gravel road forever. Not in a big truck. We fixing to kick up some dust, man. A little rough. I'm going to be calling me up here in a minute. What are you doing on the gravel road? Probably like, dang it. Dust storm for the pickup truck. <laughs> Can't even see the pickup truck now. There's so much dust back there. Gravel from Google Maps, you know. Well, now you get to now you're fixing to see what the dust looks like behind us. Jeez, look at all that dust he's throwing. Well, it don't look that thick going this way, but it's blowing to the to the left. Thankfully for us. <laughs> I 
Hello, Rad the Dirt Road. How about how many uh, live stream truckers have you have you watched on the dirt roads? What is this? We're not only doing the back roads, we're doing the backpack roads. Off road trucking. Uh, he was just calling and letting me know that the appointment was at 730. I already knew that though. Maybe you could see a little bit of it in that side mirror, but nothing at all like it's showing up in on my door mirrors. Where does this lead to? Uh, I forget the name of the town. didn't just wash your truck, sir. It looks awful nice and pretty. What is this?
Back to the paved road. What the heck was that? It's been a minute since I've got to drive down a road like that in a big truck. It's been about about nine years ish. I had a uh, delivery one time on a road like that somewhere in Texas. I don't remember exactly where it's at, but I had to run uh, somewhere between five and ten miles down a, a dirt road like that. GPS where we're at right now. We've got an altitude of 3,453 feet. We've got a current temperature of 53 degrees at 140 in the PM. We've got 411,000 miles even right now on the truck. 411 even. 411,000 even. And we got 803 miles left on this trip. dollars in there. Yeah, well, that was a little bit of back road, uh, but it was snow covered, so yeah, I forgot about that one. I, I sure did, I forgot about that one. It was just, it was snow covered, nice covered, so yeah, that's the reason why I forgot about it. We wasn't kicking up any dust going down that road. You're right, though, you're right. That was last year. Where was that up in Idaho, anyway?
welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, we get another drill. Welcome back. Now I thought we was. Just around the little bridge there.
over the train track. It's, it's driving a truck um, and staying awake is it's nothing like driving a car and trying to stay awake. It's there's a whole lot of difference. Driving a car, I mean, I I might be able to do three or four hundred miles, and then I'd need to pull over. I mean, I could go further, but I just couldn't do it for very long. Um, driving a truck, I mean, it's almost like sitting in your office chair is pretty well close to the same. To a lot of people it's like, well, I could never be a truck driver. I, I get sleepy when I drive too easy. It's just not the same. They're designed for comfort, but not for the comfort of putting you to sleep.
I'll tell you what, today has been an adventure as far as uh, getting off the beaten path. Heck, we even had what, was that 10, about 10 miles of uh, dirt road? <laughs> Two lane highways this entire time. We've been going, what, six and a half hours? Been on two lanes pretty much the entire time. Today's like a treated day when it comes to driving. be a bad place to break down. Now that's for sure would not be good to break down right now through here in a truck. Because uh, there's really no pulling it off the road whatsoever. to get somebody out here. lucky enough to be able to pull into something like that, you'd be alright, but there hadn't been that much luck left through here <laughs> at all. my mics for a bit and put this uh, supercharger on get my battery charged back up I'm on about 25% which won't last for a great deal longer maybe another <clears throat> maybe another hour is if I'm lucky so when I unplug these mics for a little bit won't be saying too much I'm gonna kick this supercharger on
are in Monument, Kansas right now. Got an altitude of 3,200 feet. Got a current temperature 52 degrees at 321 in the PM.
daughter, how you doing? I don't have my microphones in right now, I'm charging my phone up for anybody that's having a hard time hearing me. Oakley, Kansas, court tip GPS, where we're at right now. Got an altitude of 3,118 feet. Got a current temperature, 52 degrees, at 327 in the PM.
save us time. Not real sure about that. It's always nice to have a change of scenery when we can take it. <laughs> no doubt about it, man. No doubt about it. I'll be right back, y'all.
ladies and gentlemen. Got 42% on the on the phone battery, so I'm gonna let it charge for I'm gonna let it charge to at least 50 before I plug the mics back up. I'm just trying to decide. I want to get me a cranberry grape juice or yeah I'll just drink on this see I'm going to let the battery charge for <laughs> however long it takes to get another 8 8 to 10 percent shouldn't take too much longer All aboard! Mm -hmm. These are old hobos. Going pretty good today. How you doing, Chuck?
like it hasn't been moved in years.
weekend is. Sunday through Monday is all the same. Go, go, go.
stop here and hang out. We'll get to you next time around.
radio check, radio check. I got the battery up to 60%, so it took 48 minutes to go from 28% up to 60%. Not too bad. We are in Jennings, Kansas right now. It's an altitude of 2,470 feet. We got a current temperature of 53 degrees at 4.30 in the p.m. We have 694 miles left on this trip. On this trip. Dang it. Sounds good, right on. Right on me. We have 21 miles to uh, US 36, Kansas 383. over the park. Quite the peculiar looking little town. That poor truck over there looking mad, man. Six miles to north.
yeah, that's, that's the thing about um, <clears throat> running straight off the YouTube app. When I get a phone call, it, it automatically sends it into a buffer. When we was on the uh, on the live screen, <clears throat> running it through the separate streaming app, it would just mute it. Yeah, it is a 
bit chilly out here. I ain't seen no sunshine all day long. So it definitely is a bit chilly. today give or take a few miles and uh, we'll do the other five 550 give or take tomorrow get unloaded first thing the next morning what is the 21st is that Sunday or Monday it's Sunday morning now anyway we'll get unloaded first thing our appointment's set for 7.30 and then we'll head to our next pickup. It's all been natural landscape today. This is what it's been all day two lane back roads. We even was on a dirt road for a few miles. What was it, about five miles maybe? Six miles, seven miles, something like that. About five miles, I think. Nice rest area before the uh, 36 turn up. I don't need it. I don't need it. Just keep on trucking. Keep on trucking, man. I'm ready to be there. <laughs> yeah, we're headed to Prescott, Wisconsin. Man. Jeez. 
Wow. It's almost like a funny bone hurt, but it wasn't in my funny bone. It was right in the tip of my elbow. Always as careful as possible. <clears throat> I did. It was gushy sounding. It's like snap. I know one thing, I do like these mics that I got, the new ones. I like them. I wish that I knew about these when I got the other ones. The, uh, the whole time that we've been running this live stream, my receiver has been running a charge off of my phone. That might be why uh, why my phone ran down. I don't know. I, I know the uh, the charger that I've got it on right now. The uh, the wireless charge. It's not as strong as the other one that I normally use. So I'm not 100% sure on that. But I do know the receiver, when I put it into the charge box, it was showing 100%, so it charges off of, off of the phone, which is cool. Check out the cab over, pulling the splatter wagon. Oh, that is a nice little park, ain't it? Be a nice little one wheel park, have at it. Tankers in the sky. Or, well, tankers in the air, anyway. people hanging out with me right now. Donna, how you doing today? So I'm far from alone. Far from alone. Five, five 
working on that oyster. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm trying. Oysters out the window. Been going real good, Donna. Real good. So far, so good. <clears throat> Eat for the oyster. <laughs> on this trip. Got about 120-ish for the day. Um, I don't know yet. I'm not real sure. Depends on, depends on where I get stopped at, I guess. <clears throat> Prairie Dog State Park. <laughs> According to the GPS, we are now in Norton, Kansas. According to that sign, we're three miles away. <laughs> we got an altitude of 2,380, 2,395 feet. 2,400 feet, my bad. We're still climbing. Got a temperature of 53 degrees out here at 453 in the BM. We are on 383 eastbound. See station 15? What is that? Horse and buggy station? Huh. I did have noodles last night for supper. Well, I had me a... Was it, was it chicken salad sandwich? I think it was chicken salad. Chicken salad sandwich. No, no, it was tuna. Lemon, lemon pepper tuna sandwich. And then, uh... I don't know, a little bit after that, I fixed me some noodles. Sliced cheese right now, so bologna sandwich, fish sandwich, hamburger, kind of all out of the question. Is it train guy? Yeah. How you do? Uh, well, I had pizza a little bit earlier. I mean, you know, pizza not for you, great, but I had pizza just a little bit earlier, so maybe not pizza. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've not got that thumbs up button, yes, yeah, smash it, smash it, punch it, kick it, lick it, we do not care how you do it. Stop smurfing on it. <laughs> Pizza for Susan tonight. It's 
Stouffer's Pizza earlier. I like, uh, I like Stouffer's Meatloaf. Not Meatloaf, I don't know. Lasagna. Lasagna is good. <clears throat> Speaking of pizza, Pizza Hut, straight ahead. I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna try that out, see how it does. Dang, that was, man. They got chesters and godfathers. <laughs> Three-legged pizza. Heck yeah. Phillipsburg, 31 miles, Alamina, 11. We're only going five and then we'll be making a left-hand turn up here. West of Diesel. Cliff, how you doing today? Bakersfield again. To that one place that we delivered to in Bakersfield that last time we was out there. I can go back to that place. Why? Because there's a hot dog stand right down the road from it. 
I want to go get a hot dog from there so freaking bad. Put chili and chili, uh, chili and cheese and mayo on my hot dogs since I was a kid. out there in Bakersfield. I watch it on TikTok from time to time. That he puts mayonnaise and ketchup and mustard on there. Everybody in the stream is always like, what's the white stuff that they're putting on there? Good lord, for real? <laughs> How would you not know that it's mayonnaise? But I guess if you've never put it on there, then it might kind of throw you for a loop. I don't know. It's mayo, man. It's mayo. Yeah, I like mayonnaise on hot dogs. Mayonnaise and mustard. Ketchup I can do with or without. It doesn't really matter. The mustard, I prefer the brown mustard. But uh, either or. What's the name of the place? Uh, I don't even know It's um, what what the name of it is. It, it's just, it's a little, uh, little food stand out, out in Bakersfield. I don't know. Sell something. I know that much, but. 
and X is there to you too. We got 21 miles to US 183. Alameda City Limits, according to that sign back there. The business district, or right down that way. I don't know if I can smudge the business district, but I'll take your word for it. Very down Creek.
<laughs> I was wondering what you meant by that. It's not after that. So I was like, oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, this route. <clears throat> I've took this route a couple of times. It's like the third, third-ish time, something like that. And I've run this route. over Prairie Dog Creek uh, a few miles back. I don't know exactly how many, but a few miles back, Prairie Dog State Park. Or a Prairie Dog Park. That might have been State Park. Not real sure.
truck down that dirt road. <clears throat> Man, that's no, that's not cool. Long Island Water Tower. Check that thing out, y'all. Yeah.
That could have been used for, or yeah, it could have been used for a vehicle going as high as it is. Over 50 feet. Dang it, man. Phillipsburg, Kansas.
31 miles and we'll be turning on to US 34, US 6.
they're good. Very <laughs> sure. They went too bad at all. Smoother than Louisiana. I tell you that much. Better than New Mexico.
Walmart for anything, get myself check out so going back to the cashier. That was one Walmart I went into. They only had a It was one cashier, or maybe two, I think it was just one of them. All the rest of the lines were self-checkout. I don't remember which one it was that I went to. It was one in Colorado though, because they didn't have bags either.
Yeah, we've been going for quite a while. Uh, my counter says seven and a half hours. I don't know if it's been seven and a half or more. <laughs> That's the unfortunate thing about starting up early and then shut down early. Nine hours on yours. Oysters out all day. Oysters. Yeah, no doubt about that. I used to drive like constant, constant, constant. I'm so thankful that they <clears throat> that they put ELBs in trucks. You just you just don't know. I'm 
always having a good time here. If you're not having a good time here, like, man, I tell you what, you're stuck in the mud somewhere. <laughs> Just stuck in the mud somewhere. Sir, ain't no water in there. You can't go fishing over there. <laughs> They're all invisible 7-Eleven. Welcome to Holdridge, Holdridge, Nebraska. Got an altitude of 2,326 feet. We got a current temperature, 49 degrees. This would be a nice little one-wheel town. Getting on to US 34 East, US 6 East. Sixteen miles, we'll be, we'll be making a left hand turn to Nebraska 44. an awesome little one wheel town I do believe especially if you've done the town the park and a couple of neighborhoods <clears throat> they got plenty of sidewalks around here have a sidekick today <laughs> interesting Grinders. Fourth Avenue Coffee. Yeah, this town though, I think you would you would be good to do it would be good to do downtown here and a few of the neighborhoods. Brick streets. Oh yeah, this would be. Sweet. Hotel Dale. Hmm. Clone stinking red light. Margaritas, cocktails, Mexican Tex Mex, mammoth appetizers. Dang it, man.
18. We couldn't we couldn't go under that train track. About seven inches too tall. <laughs> Funk, Nebraska, six miles away. Hastings, 53. Funk, Nebraska.
Nebraska. According to the GPS where we're at. And it is awful funky looking around here. Funk waterfowl. I don't know if I would want any part of that or not. Uh, well, that's how many hours I can drive. I'm not going to drive that many, but that's how many I can drive, yeah. I can drive up to two more hours. 175 people here in Funk, Nebraska. The big Funk. Sorry, how you doing today? The big Funk. Sped through funk just a little bit quick. <laughs> they got funk on the water tower. <laughs> Almost. Probably not quite though. Half a horse town. for the 12th time. Congratulations. Congratulations. Fuck in the trunk. <laughs> Just a friendly reminder, if you've not got that thumbs up button yet, smash it, smash it, punch it, kick it, kick it, we do not care how you do it, stop smurfing on it. If you've not subscribed yet, punch that subscription button in the face, slap that notification bell in the jaw. That way you know when we're here in line, hopefully every single day. <laughs> yeah, I would get really is Funk, Nebraska. Funk, Nebraska. I'm from Funk, man. I'm from Funk. 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 Miles to Kearney. I mean, Kearney. 
Okay, it's over. We got 13 miles to the interstate, but I gotta get there quick. Carney, not Kearney. Carney. <laughs> Dang it, man. He's driving. 
driving like a maniac. Sarge, appreciate you stopping in hang now. We'll catch you next time, all right? Leave us with about 540 for tomorrow. Yes.
four and a half miles to Interstate to 80. Buffalo County, crossing the Platte River, Platte River. Nine miles to Grand Island. So we got about forty more miles to go.
marches in the daylight. Did I say that right there? Carney arches. Carney arches in the daylight. We got truck parking over there. We've used that parking spot uh, quite a few times.
to get this gun better soon.
to Nebraska, Shelton, Nebraska, of course, the GPS, where we're at right now. We got an altitude of 2,030 feet. We got current temperature 49 degrees at 6.43 at the PM. We got 559 miles left on this trip. It takes a few minutes for the chat to start popping up on the starts of the stream. Well, doing it this vertical way anyway. Doing it widescreen, they pop up quick. But to split it in half Wood River is where we would where we should stop at. But food wise and shower wise, I would much rather stop at Grand Island, so what a bone up. Yeah, 
here over the road doing it. It's it's um, it's a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle that uh, that you got to be willing to do. If, if you know, I mean, unless you know somebody that's going to put you in a in a local truck right off the bat or a regional, you got to be willing to to get out and stay you know stay gone from home. You don't think that you're going to be willing to stay gone for anywhere from five days to a month, depending on what you do, then you might want to rethink it. So if you go regional, then generally you can you can be home every week, every weekend, or every other weekend. If you go over the road, then most all over the road companies requires you to stay out at least 30 days before you go back home. Always keep an eye on your mirrors. If you're not sure about something, take a minute, take a second to stop and look. Whether it's getting out and walking behind the truck and looking, or getting out and walking in front of the truck and looking. Yeah. Regionals or over the roads, you know, you don't really get any kind of schedule. Just be prepared to work when you can or when they get you your loads. You gotta be flexible. She's done pretty good. Doing pretty good. better than others, some will pay you a lot worse than others. Regional in most cases don't pay as good as over the road in most cases. How do I know when I'm done? 
uh, you have to you have to factor in how many miles your trip is and how long it'll take you to get there. That's like I'm gonna pull over here in about 20 minutes, but I'll have enough hours tomorrow to get to where I need to be tomorrow. You know, sometimes, sometimes the your your trip length require you to drive more hours. Sometimes, you know, less hours. Depends on how how many miles you got to go and how many days they give it to you to do in. That's how you determine. That's how you determine how much you drive for the day. Yeah, the time working while not on the clock. That's like last night. If I'd have took off last night instead of waiting till this morning, that would have been that would have been a monstrous day because I waited 12 hours just for them to load it. And then I could have drove for I had a full clock, so I mean I could have drove for another 11 hours, but wasn't about to do that. And I had enough time to where I didn't have to do it. you stop your truck to get out and go into truck stops the longer your day's going to be and when you're new at it that's something that that's something that a lot of people like to do when they're brand new in trucking is stopping at different truck stops stopping at you know different states different cities the more you stop then the, the longer your work day is yeah no two trips no two trips are the same they they all vary So that's like when I got Tasha and Hammer with me. <clears throat> with me, I have to stop more because he's got to get out and use the bathroom more. She, she's got to have ice, so I have to stop more through the day, which makes my days longer to drive. Not, not every day, you know. Some days they don't have to stop as much, but. River, Nebraska, according to the GPS, we're at right now, it's an altitude of 1,944 feet, current temperature 49 degrees at 6.56 in the PM, we got 544 miles left on this trip, to Prescott, Wisconsin, not got that many more miles left on the day though. We are traveling down Interstate 80 east to bound. going to when I went on that 34 hour restart because of coming back in so quick I figured she would have end but Grand Island 16 miles we are almost to our destination for today pretty good. Got about 16 more miles left for the day ish. Nah, not even 16. About 6.
tells you where all the truck stops are. Um, if your GPS down, you can buy the little booklets at the truck stops that tells you every parking spot, like along Interstate 80, through Nebraska, through Iowa, and you just decide which ones you like, which ones you prefer to stop at. Rest areas, truck stops. There's a, a one little book you can get it. It tells you every single one. This pocket something or another. I've got one, I've got one up at the, the top up there. I don't ever use it though. Now if you've been out here for a while, you you know, especially when you run a lot of the same routes, you know where you know about where they are. start figuring them out, learning them, remembering them. See, I could have stopped 10 miles back and that would have split my trip in half, but I didn't want to stop at that particular truck stop back there. I'd rather stop at this one coming up. cities you don't want to stop at or stop in you know it takes a little bit of time yeah I usually don't decide until the end of the day where I'm gonna stop at usually Sometimes whether you want to or not, you know, it's, it just depends on how it works out. It's like Tasha, she don't, she don't like stopping at a at rest areas, but sometimes don't have no choice. Almost missed my turn, y'all. Yeah. Restaurant. Or, you know, pretty decent restaurant. It's got good food. It's actually a nice restaurant. It's a nice truck stop. But the nicer the truck stop, usually the quicker they fill up usually the, the little hole in the walls is where you want to park at if you if you drive into the night park at the little hole in the walls because nobody wants to stop at them Oh yeah, Lord have mercy, man. That was torture last year. I mean, they got it fixed for me pretty quick, but it was still torture. It was rough.
just a friendly reminder, like a gentleman, if you've not got that thumbs up button yet, smash it, mash it, punch it, kick it, lick it. We do not care how you do it. Stop smurfing on it. You don't know how to get the thumbs up button. There should be three little dots in the top right corner. Touch those and it should take you to the thumbs up menu. Yeah, I mean, that's, to, you know, you, to, in order to get most local jobs, you do need to go over the road for a little while. Most local companies won't hire you straight out of school. Not saying none won't, but most won't. But most local companies don't pay as good either. That's the thing about it. Some local companies don't pay half as good. I see we could park over there in the uh look at that, they closed the entrance up right there to put Tesla chargers. Go here in the dirt though. 100% fine with me. Oh, Lord. If I don't jerk everything out of the truck trying to do it. Easy parking. That guy that he's parked over there on the street with all this parking and he's parked on the street. He's got his curtains pulled so he's parked. Motel 6, good Lord have mercy. Now, let me show you what I did right here. I parked on the end. And I also I backed up far enough to where those jersey walls are protecting at the front of my truck from anybody swinging in. Now, anybody can back in. into me, you know, I mean, that could still happen, but probably full when arrived, probably not, probably not, um, some people just prefer to park like that, because with, with him parked like that, in his mind, nobody's going to hit his truck trying to back up, trying to back up beside of him. That's why you see a lot, a lot of drivers that park some of the on ramps and off ramps. That's why they do it for, not because there's not parking. It's just because they feel the, like their truck is safer on the on on ramps and the off ramps from people backing into them. So that's why you see it. I'm not saying everybody. I'm just saying a lot of them that's out there on the ramps. That's why they do it for, so they don't have to worry about people backing into their truck. And they don't have to worry about backing into somebody's truck. All the same. Either which way. So what, what do we got? Nine and a half hours or ten hours on the stream? 
fear from Swift. Started out with 28, 158 this morning is what we started out with. Twenty-eight four fifty-nine. So, four hundred is that four hundred fifty-nine or three hundred fifty-nine? Three hundred fifty-nine. That's all right. That's that's pretty good. Pretty dang good. Ten hours and thirty-six minutes. Three hundred people. Is it three hundred or four hundred? 300? I think 300. In 10 hours, that's not too bad. Not too shabby. What do you do when you stop? Like what activities? Games, watch TV, or just go straight to bed? Um, I don't, I don't watch any TV and I don't play any games. You know, I might watch a little bit of YouTube, depending on, maybe watch a little bit of TikTok. Um, go in, get me something to eat, take a shower, and then usually hit the bed. One wheel. Yeah, I do the one wheels. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking about going on into town and doing a one wheel in the morning. But, I don't know about running that way. I mean, we could we could run thirty all day tomorrow. I could I could drive on into town and do a one wheel in the morning because it's kind of I'd have to charge my phone up and everything tonight. It's already seven seven twelve. Oh, I ran out of the Big Bang episodes a long time ago. But yeah, yeah, I do the one wheel. When it, whenever possible, and that might be, that might be a possibility. I might um, I don't know. Maybe maybe not. I'd like to I'd like to do a one wheel one wheel ride around um, around Grand Island. Made it home to Livingston. How you doing? Become somebody. How you doing? But you know, truck stop like this, they've got the theater, the little, they call it theater. It's not really a theater, it's, but it's a little sitting room to watch TV if you want to do that. Um, some of these truck stops have gyms in them. They're not big gyms or huge gyms or anything like that, but enough to get a little bit of a workout. You can get out and walk the parking lot if you know if you wanted to do if you wanted to do oh we got a buffer normally what I do though is I you know I just kick back and relax yeah the one the one little videos I love doing those I do I love doing them and um it's possible, it's possible that I get up in the morning and go to the other side of town. If I do that though, we'll be running 30 instead of 80. We'll be running 30 across Nebraska. If I do that, we'll run 30 either all the way to Iowa. Well, we could run 30 all the way to 35. It's quite the possibility. It's quite the possibility. Me? Good morning. How you doing? Truck cooking, yeah. Nineteen sixty two, six dollars was a lot of money. For sure. Man, I'm at a table. What is it? What What's that one bowl that I get from here? Um, 
I forget what it's called. The mac and cheese, um, cheese something all right so what well, we drove 573 miles today we could have drove for a, a whole nother hour but 573 is sufficient you are welcome Anytime you got a question, man, just come on in and if if I can answer it, I will. I mean, I don't I don't know everything, but if I got if I got if I know, I'll, I'll definitely say. And if I don't know, a lot of people here in the chat does. What is what is that bowl, man? Who remembers what pulled pork mac and cheese? That's it. That's what I'm going to get. Man, I would like to just call it in, but if I call it in, it's going to kill the stream. <clears throat> Pulled pork, mac and cheese. Oh, hey, man. That's what I'm having for supper tonight. Do y'all want to stay on the live until I get back with my food, or you want to just go ahead and shut it down? It doesn't matter to me. Because we can still run it for another hour-ish. Wait for me to get back. Alright, let's... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's do a poll. How do I word this? All right, we got the poll up. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to probably uh, put this on. See how cold it is in there. Yeah, just for comfortability. I hate my head getting cold. Dang, them votes are going up quick. Look at that. I'm actually gonna put my jacket on too. <laughs> well, I don't like I don't like putting them up when I'm driving. I don't like doing that. All right, we got. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. People telling him he was too small. Who? Me? Too small? I don't know. I'm lost here. What got me into trucking? Um, I've always, I've always loved to, to travel around. I've always to drive, and um, you know, I just, I just figured, what better way to spend my day doing something that I love and getting paid for it? And so trucking was what I chose. Trucking was the how I chose to do it. Oh, truck of trucking was Ooh. what I chose. <laughs> oh, okay, I get what you're saying now, Jay. Run the stream till I get my food. We got 45 votes and 84% saying run the stream. So what I'm going to do is uh i'm gonna go in here i'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see outside i'm actually gonna put the microphones outside for you so you can hear the outside i think i might need to plug it up 
Uh, yeah, I'll put the microphone to that side until I get back. Then once I get back, I'll actually have to plug it up. So. All I'm going to get is the pulled pork, macaroni and cheese, and maybe a sweet tea, maybe. I'll be back. Oh, I almost forgot to turn you guys around. Dang it. Not like there's a whole lot to see, but maybe I'll see a little bit of something. Keep you occupied.
man, highly unfortunate that the uh, Thunder Road is not open right now. So I ended up having to get me a dang sub sandwich. Apparently, they're doing some kitchen remodel. Apparently, from the 14th to the 20th. So I got me a. I gotta be careful with that. That magnet almost come off on me. When I'm slipping it off, I have to be careful. Cause it, the magnet for this one, it does slide off a lot easier than the magnets on my other one. But I don't know. I think I think the new mic sounds a lot better than the old mics. That's just me. I could be biased. Could just be because yeah, it was worth the money. I don't know. I think I think they sound better though. Snack bar horse number two race one Melbourne today. So what I got was a great garlic six inch white. Toasted. Man, oh man, I tell you what. Really wasn't wanting this, but. The onions are good. Ooh, that garlic taste is pretty good. Tasha got some of that, that garlic sauce from Walmart. I wonder if it's identically the same as this. You could hear me walking from 150 feet away. Good Lord. That's pretty good. <laughs> Best mic so far to you. I, I think it... I've just listened to it a little bit. Like when I done... When I done the one wheel... Um, I watched that video up till this while I was doing the one wheel and it sounded pretty good I listened to just a little bit of a driving stream just to see how it sounded and uh, I didn't listen I didn't listen or watch much of it because when I plugged the mic in I was like dang man that's a huge difference Actually, not too bad. Actually, pretty good. I'm pretty hungry though, so makes a difference. I wonder. I wonder how long them campers has been over there. Cause you know you go to like Denver. And they set up them campers, or they used to. They set up in places like this and just along the sides of the highway. Yeah, it is a little bit crunchy. He put a little bit too much salt on it. Just a little bit. Oh, 
Well, that one's not too bad. I'll be right back. That bite wasn't too saucy. But man, that other bite was. Time for some cranberry grape. Pretty good, Josh. I bet you. Wait a minute. Kind of weird. Oh, yeah. From hit, yeah. That, that's another big plus. We hit the bumps and it's good. I don't have to deal with all that fighting the sound back on. And, Cause I think it was the, the over or under that I did. That was the problem that I was having on that video was the bumps was knocking my mic in and out 297 just a friendly reminder if you've not got that thumbs up button yet smash it mash it punch it kick it lick it we do not care how you do it stop smurfing on it doing really good right on man right on Hang on a second, I'll show you. guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen are freaking awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for over 300 thumbs up right here at Try Along Gang. Really do appreciate it. Snatch some salt from the Celtic crew. Butter up that popcorn. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Now we do love the misfits around here. How much do we love the misfits? Freaking bunches. Alright, hang on just a second. I'm going to show you what my ELD looks like. So what you got there. Dang it, hang on. So what you got here is this will start out at 8. This will start out at 11. This starts out at 14, and that's per day. This one will start out at 70 at the start of your week, okay? Now, I've worked uh, 40 hours since the start of my week, and it counts them down. Let's see if you... You got zeros zero zero I just come off my home time now man look at my hand the 
my first day that I worked was nine hours and 43 minutes. So that takes off of the 70. My second day was 10 hours and 46 minutes, which comes off of that 70. It's 19 hours off of the 70. Then the eight hours. Okay, now that day out, which was yesterday, was just 38 minutes and then nine hours today. Now what'll happen is when when this runs out, if you drive like eight or nine hours every single day, this right here won't never run completely out. Because in seven days from now, or we'll pretend like today is next um, next Monday. Okay, next Monday I'll gain back. Next Monday, I'll gain back nine hours and 43 minutes. So when this clock is starting to run out um, Sunday, then when I park Sunday night at, at midnight, that'll switch back. It'll give me nine hours and 43 minutes back. I know that's kind of hard, kind of hard to maybe kind of hard to understand, maybe not. But it's it's that's what's called a, a rolling clock right there. It starts out with 70, and as long as you don't run that 70 out within seven days, or six days, as long as you don't run it out within six days, then you'll get back, every seventh day, you'll get back what you worked the previous seven days, which the previous seven days for me right now is zero, but come Monday, it'll be nine hours and 43 minutes. Yeah, it's like, it's like a rolling clock. Um, I mean, that's about the best ways, the best way I can explain that. It's like a rolling clock. So, some companies and some people, when they get low on that 30 hours or that 70 hour clock, um, some people, when they get down to 15 to 20 hours they're like oh I got to take a 34 hour restart now if you sit somewhere for 34 hours that 30 like if I sit here for 34 hours before I got started driving again that 30 would jump back up to 70 how many hours do I how many hours a week do I put in I, I run that 70 out every week I run 70 hours out every week I do 70 I do 65 to 70 hours every single week. Yeah, they should, Christopher, but most people just take us for granted. So, I mean, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of professions out here that really should get more credit than they get. You know, trucking being one of them, but there's there's a lot more that should have better more recognition than what they get. But yeah, I put in, I put in around 70 hours a week because when I leave home, I do my very best not to get stuck somewhere for 34 hours until I go back home. It don't always work out. Like yesterday, I didn't get anything, you know, 38, 38 minutes yesterday. And Had I known that it was going to took that long for them to load me, I would have drove over there as soon as I got done with that one wheel video, and I would have got the 34 hour restart. I didn't know it was going to take that long, so it messed me up. But generally, in most cases, yeah, it was the shipper's fault. They didn't get me loaded. Um, I drove from the truck stop to the shipper and it took them 12 hours to get me loaded and rather than leaving out rather than leaving out I just went ahead and stayed until this morning and, and then left I didn't know it was going to take them 12 hours to load me that's what I'm saying if I'd have known that I could have drove over there the night before 
and that 38 minutes wouldn't have been on there and my 30 hours would have been restarted would have been it would have been set back up to 70 When I go in on home time, <laughs> when I go in on home time, if it's summertime, I take two days and I'm back out once a month. If it's wintertime, then I'll take anywhere from four to 14, it depends. See, I just come off of, was it six days or seven days? I think it was I think it was seven days last month I took six days next month will only be two days and then I'll be right back out again in the summertime they we they've got us on a um, particular run all summer long and they would rather us not even come in during the summer but I like to go in at least once a month and do a restart. Mm -hmm. And now last month, last month was slow for me. It seemed like every single unload and reload took like 30 hours. So last month was a slow month for me. Hopefully this month ain't that bad, hopefully. But the load I'm picking up, my reload that I've that they've got me going for after this one's done, it's actually it's actually due to be loaded today. So by the time I get back it today yeah it's actually due to be loaded today but it's a dropping hook so why 12 hours just because they, they told me that the um, that the machines was breaking down in there I don't know I have no idea they'll tell they'll tell you anything whatever they think a lot of times with these shippers whatever they think will make you more happy or will be more pleasing to your ears is what they'll tell you you know, they, they and they'll give you any excuse from it's not ready yet, we're short-handed, machines breaking down, um, the product hadn't got here yet. I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Mm. No. I've, I've waited 36 and 30, 34, 36. For, I've waited up to 40 hours. Um, matter of fact, last month there was quite a few of them where I was stuck there uh, 30 and 40 hours. I didn't make hardly nothing last month. Nah, I did pretty good. Mm-hmm. When it's every single load, it is bad. I mean, as long as it don't, it's not every single load, it's going to happen out here. It just is. 
but when it's every single load that's that's doing that that's you know that's when it's bad that's when it affects you the most And truck companies will pay layover pay, breakdown pay, and this and that. Sometimes. They don't always do it. Four thousand miles less. Yeah. Yeah, you could you could tell. I could tell. It was every single load last month. It was I had to wait, wait, wait. Every, every single load last month. And two of them, two of them back to back. I, I know two of them back to back with uh, 34 hour restarts. That was the Friana load, and I don't remember what the other one was, but I know Friana. I set, I set in Friana. I think it was uh, right at 40 hours. I think, ish, give or take. Yeah, it's a bunch of crap. Because they'll pay you, like I say, they'll pay you sometimes for it. But most of the time it's, they'll be like, okay, yeah, we'll pay you. And then you don't get paid and then you call and bitch and raise hell. And they'll put, they might put it on next week's check. They might not. And that's any company, not just this company. It's, that's any company. I will tell you this. When you're asking about <clears throat> the advice, you know, trucking this or that, you'll get cheated out of more money in the trucking industry than you probably will most any other industry that you get into and, and work. And, and that's just, that's part of trucking. Because here, here's the way the, the pay goes. You get paid a certain amount of miles per trip. Okay. The trip might be 1,800 miles. And they're only going to pay you 1,700 for it. Okay. And a lot of people says, well, I, work, I, I wouldn't work for any trucking company that doesn't pay hub miles. Okay, that's all fine and good. They pay you every single mile that you drive. But, those companies tend to pay you 20 cents on the mile, 10, 15 cents per mile less. So it all equals out to the same. I mean, it just, it equals out. What's my favorite pit stop? That really doesn't, really doesn't matter to me as long as I can get in somewhere get parked and they got you know nice showers all right chase appreciate you stopping in and hanging out we'll catch you next time around yeah it really as far as the truck stops go it really doesn't matter as long as they're you know decent Let's see, we got stopped. What time did we stop? Man, I won't start before six or eight o'clock, between six and eight o'clock tomorrow in the morning. Can you sleep in the truck stops? Um, 
I mean, you can, but you're going to be sleeping in a chair if you do. You're much more comfortable in, in your own in your truck than you would be inside the truck stop anywhere. Because all they've got is just the little little seats for you to sit in to watch TV. More than likely, if, if you're in there sleep for too long, they're going to come and wake you up and to make sure you're not homeless or that you're okay. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe I missed... Did I miss the first part of your question or something? Because you said, Hey, I got a question for you. Can you sleep in truck stops? She's in Mississippi. Well, she's got a vehicle. So, are you asking if somebody that you know could go into a truck stop and sleep? It, it just depends on who you're driving for. It really does. I mean... You're, you're looking on on the low end of trucking you're looking fifty thousand well forty five thousand a year on the low end and on the high end depending on what company you're driving for but the high end is usually around eighty to eighty five thousand per year that's that's your low and highs per year now you've got certain companies that you're going to make a little bit more money with you know, supposedly Walmart pays a hundred, hundred and ten thousand a year. I don't know. You don't know how to find it to me. What? Where I'm at? I'm kind of confused there, Josh. What? What you're asking? And you know, if you're working regionals, more than likely you're going to be on the lower end of that that yearly thing, unless, and like, like I said, unless it's something for like Walmart or something. But with Walmart, you got to have like two years' experience to get on with them. Oh yeah, Fubar is going to be live tonight. I'm going, I'm going to jump over there because he's not been live for a few days. So when I end this stream, I'm definitely going to... what he, he goes live at 8, don't he? In an hour? Alright, Nancy. Appreciate you stopping in and hanging out with us. And we'll catch you next time around. I'll probably start up somewhere between, somewhere around 8 o'clock in the morning, probably. Ish. Oh, he's on right now? It is 8. Yeah, but I'm not on Mountain Time anymore, am I? And I'm on Central Time now? It is 8 o'clock, dang it. Cheyenne's Mountain Time. I thought he went, went on at 8 o'clock Mountain Time. I don't know.
Well, let's out. Let's jump over to Fubar's and do a ride along gang drive by. How about it? I'll pop over there with you. If you know who Fubar, uh, can I get somebody to to put in the channel name? Fubar on patrol. We'll do a ride along gang drive by on him. Where you at, Fubar? Bar. There he is. He's got 87 people watching. Oh, he's doing the... Yeah, he's doing the feed, feed the homeless still right now. So, we'll... Well, I was going to say, we might want to wait a few minutes. Right now, <laughs> got offered a truck, and apparently, take home is 16, 16k a month. So, being an owner operator, that's that close to like 25 grand a month, 16 after expenses. Okay, um, hang on. 25, 25,000 a month? Is that, that's for, is that for lease purchasing? Or is that for being a company driver? I, I'm just, I'm, if it's company driver, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, you're not going to make that much money a month. You're just not. And and if you do, if that's if that's true, then jump on it, cause that's that's good pay for trucking. Being an owner operator, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna pay for you're gonna pay for all your maintenance, all your fuel, insurance, um, everything everything like that. Um, hang on, let's do this right here. Start a poll. We I, we don't do the links because the links don't they're not really clickable. They're not clickable. But if you'll type in that right there, what I just put, Fubar on Patrol. Um, the link the links aren't really they're not clickable. They just come they come up as non clickable links for most everybody. So <clears throat> just on the poll right there, have the name spelled. Just spell it like that right there. And it, it should take you right to his channel. It should. But yeah, I stopped doing links because the reason, and because they're not clickable on this format. On widescreen they are, but on this format they're not really clickable. <clears throat> so I just I stopped doing the whole link thing over or on this format here.
but he's not, he's not in the car right now, so don't do the don't do the whole drive by yet until he gets into the car. The link this morning to John's work, and it's weird how how that how sometimes they do, but most of the time they don't. Most of the time, oh, is he back in the car? All right, he's back in the car. Drive by. So once everybody kind of files in, gets the alerts and stuff. Got a call. Yeah, I got a call already. I got a tiny spot. Appreciate it. I do like having two phones though where I, I can do this if I want to. But I'm not I'm not gonna play I'm not I'm not gonna play sound. Just simply because it's his sound and I don't need his sound on on my video. Does the number sound right? Uh, <clears throat> now, wait a minute. It would okay. It would be owner operator. I've I've never really done the the whole uh, owner operator thing. So, I mean. Twenty-five thousand a month, sixteen after take home. That's I mean, what is that? Four thousand a week. That that sounds pretty close to right. Pretty close. Yeah. Dude, man, that family dollar, he almost hit that freaking jersey wall. He missed it by, he missed that jersey wall by about that much. Um, well, now, the thing is, like I say, man, when it comes to trucking, you, you got to be willing to to stay out here, especially if you're going to be starting up as an owner-operator. What? <laughs> I, I gotta go look at that here. Wait a minute. Did I get that over here? go look at that after the stream. Somebody sent something to me. It said, would you die? I don't even know who it was. I'll definitely block them, though. How about that? But, um, here, here's the, here's the thing, though. When you first start out as an owner-operator, they're, they're going to pitch you good numbers. They're going to pitch you, you know, to get you in the truck. Um, 
couldn't access Fubar's chat? Huh, that's weird. You're going to have to stop and take into consideration. Anything that can go wrong out here will go wrong. Flat tires, um, busted radiators, lights, tires, and it's uh, if you're an owner operator, every bit of that stuff is on you. Every bit of that stuff is on you. If if you blow a motor up, you know, just as soon as you get out here, that's on you. The the expense to get that fixed is on you. Now I'm not saying don't do it, and I'm not saying that the money is too good to be true or it's not too good to be true, but you gotta you gotta stop and take into consideration that when you're doing that that all that expense is, is on you. You know, they the company might pay it. Yeah, AC outage. Um, the company might pay it for you, but then you have to, you'll have to pay it back. And usually, with the when it comes to owner operators, you have to put up an escrow too. Usually, you have to put up an escrow with them that that you generally don't get back, and that can vary and range from company to company. Do do your homework. I mean, really, really do your homework um, before you before you make a commitment to that. And if you've never been in a truck, you're gonna want to you're gonna want to drive for a company before you try, uh, before you sink money into a getting a truck. Because if you get out there and you don't like it, then you're stuck with the truck till you can get rid of it. Yeah, there, there's a, there's a good one right there. Um, BS. There's a good one right there. Um, look up Double A Trucking. Now he's he's brand new. He's brand new at trucking. He's just been doing it for a couple of years. He does live stream, and um, he just went in and leased a truck. been in a few you do like it I, I would still though I would I would suggest I would suggest being a comp company driver to start I mean I, that's just my suggestion and then like I say you can check out double a trucking he's a, he's another live stream trucker and he just went and leased him a truck um, and he's he's new in in it he's new in it um, his really his is the channel to watch um, if you're looking to start out because he's new and he's getting all of the new hurts all of the new what do you do's his channel's really the one that you would want to sit and watch for that twice the work being the owner operator yeah well, I mean, I wouldn't steer anybody clear or push anybody in that direction looking to to looking to start out. That would be more of an entertainment purpose. Just, I mean, that's all I'm going to say about that. That one would be more for entertainment purpose. Not double A check definitely check him out look his channel up um, if I can get a regulator or anybody to put up his his channel name double A's here let me Is it is it two A's or is it one A? I thought it was I thought it was one A, but and it's just one A.
It says that he's live right. Oh, it is two A's. My bad. It is two A's. Yeah. Okay. It is. So the one that what Susan put up, what Gary put up, not what I put up. <laughs> it says that he's live, but I don't know if he is or isn't. No, he. It just. I don't know. Okay, started 16 minutes ago, so yeah. Yeah, he's up right now, and he's live. So we, we'll all jump over to that one, too, if you want to. We'll get, we'll get him a ride-along ride -along gang drive by. He'd appreciate it. Um, look, he's only eight away from 1,000. If you've not subscribed to his channel, jump over there and subscribe. So yeah, see he's live. Double A truck. <laughs> Tony's looking into the window and he don't even know it. Exhausted. 18 and Rowan, how you doing? He made he made it over there right on. Up and I'm going to I'm going to demand my truck tomorrow guys I have been sitting here all week all week I've been sitting here waiting for my truck to get ready they gave me a new truck I'm doing a lease purchase program and um, see how it goes I'm in the car tonight because I'm not spending the night in a hotel sharing a room when I have a cat by the way there's Atlantis. So, if you're looking to get into trucking and you're looking to do it that way, that one's definitely going to be the one to follow because anything and everything that can go wrong is going to go wrong, will go wrong, and he will, more than likely, he'll have it up on his channel to show. More than likely. I'm gonna flip the cam oh look at that doggy. I'm gonna flip the camera around. Dang it. I almost got caught again. Watch that thing wait a minute, it's it's coming. Ah, I can't get my camera there it is. Oh, I was hoping that it would notice. So I think the I think the drive bys are just as good doing them that way. I think they're just as good. Is that Lewis C K? Huh? Yeah, as a boxer. 
gotten 60 views already. Well, right on, man. Right on. Here, let me go over there. Matter of fact, let me go. Let me go to to your video right now. I'll do it while you're in here. That way, I don't have to wait and forget. Go to channel. You got 72 views already, man. Oh, dude, that's nice. And you're on the Canada side, right? Yeah, that's got to be the Canada side. Dude, that is freaking nice. Yeah, I'm done jiving for the day, uh, Bill. I'm going to leave you a comment because nobody's left you a comment. So I'm going to leave you a comment. could do a little green screen with that, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I could. You gonna go check them out? Ten and four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I did say Canada, right? Not China. <laughs> I was like, what's that noise? I forgot I still got John's video playing. <laughs> I've played it about four times already. Nah, probably not four times, but... That's, that's, that looks good, though. I used to drive a truck just like that one, same color and everything. First time I ever drove it, I drove that son of a gun up on the sidewalk. Trucks aren't made for sidewalks. 